Good morning, everyone. We hope you had a great weekend. Over this last weekend, we hope everyone is continuing to stay safe and healthy through these times. I know we recently opened into phase four. Um, that's a really good thing. Let's just keep it up, you know, stay safe, you know, use the right precautions, you know, hopefully we can get, everyone can get vaccinated um, if they choose to, and we keep going from there. But my name is Jared. I am part of the Coalition for a Safe and Healthy Elgin, and I would just wanted to talk to you guys today about what's going on in the Coalition, what's going to be coming up, what we're currently doing, and kind of what you guys can help us with. And so just kind of give you guys a brief overview again of who we are kind of starting this new year. Um, if there's any um, chance you guys want to help or join, that would be great as well. So. Again, we are the Coalition for a Safe and Healthy Elgin. We make up 12 different sectors, and they are all members that help us achieve our goals, right? We're, our goal is to try to prevent underage drinking, um, marijuana use, and things along that nature. And with the pandemic, it has been a little bit hard for us to be as active face-to-face, -face, obviously, in the community. We have done many things virtually. Um, if you have any ideas of how we can continue to be engaging, um, maybe more face-to-face -face if possible, you know, let us know. If you want to be part of the coalition, you know, you can email us at uh, c-s-h-e-l-g-i-n at gmail.com. You can also visit our website at c s h e lgin.org. All right, we'd love to have your feedback. We'd love for you to join. Um, we do meet on the second Wednesday of every month. And currently we are virtual, so it would be from, it will it is from 1030 to 12. The link is on the, our website. Uh, you can always ask us if you want the link as well. You can message us on Facebook or contact us through a website or email us. However, we will contact you back and let you know how you can join if you if it's hard for you to figure out. No problem. So we do meet 10, 30 to 12. Um, usually when we do meet face to face again, we will have that on our website to let you guys know the current location. It will be at 2 American Way in Elgin, Illinois. Just so just a heads up. But for the time being, it is virtual. So just keep that in mind. And so one thing we are doing that's very, very fun, um, it's rather new, is our podcast. It is called Encouraging Conversations. And what that is, we're focusing on how to get the message across to the, our youth, keeping our uh, Elgin's youth safe and healthy, right? Free of drugs and violent use. And so how we do that is, you know, our first episode, you can, again, go on our website and you can watch it. Or it is on Apple Podcasts. So if you have a po Apple a Podcasts or download iTunes Podcasts, you can listen to it through there. It is encouraging conversation. And we will be throwing out a new episode on the last Friday of every month. And our we just did one last uh, in the last Friday in January. So again, that is up. You can watch it on our web. You can listen to it on our website as well. We would love your guys' feedback. The first episode kind of goes into what the coalition is all about, how the coalition works, kind of our goal for the podcast, we kind of introduce a couple coalition members. You know, it mentions our DFC, uh, we have our DFC coordinator and our president of the coalition in that podcast. And each month, you know, we're going to try to get guests as frequently as possible just to kind of help us, you know, under help you guys understand more of how the coalition works, what's going on. And again, in that podcast too, we are constantly asking for your feedback, your help, right? We don't have all the answers. We just want to hear from you, right? Um, our youth is very important to us. Our youth is very important to, I'm sure, a lot of people out there, right? And so, you know, we do know some things, but we don't know everything, right? Nobody knows everything. So with your feedback, with your recommendations, with your help, we can continue to grow, make Elgin grow and continue to make a positive influence on our youth. So that's really what we're trying to do in this podcast. And again, it's really fun. Podcast, you know, this is our first podcast. So bear with us. Hopefully we'll get better over time, but it is fun to do. And 
we look forward to hearing what you guys think of it. Other things is, you know, once things start opening up, we will be hopefully doing our, you know, we did Club Lights, right? Uh, it was an alternative night for youth, right? Free of violence and substance use. Uh, maybe you guys have joined them. Maybe you haven't. If you guys have any ideas on maybe other activities uh, children might want to do, you know, please let us know. Again, we're always open to different options. Also, if you have any virtual things that children like to or youth like to do, let us know. We know that some, you know, we know schools are kind of getting back in the swing of things and people are going in hybrid mode now where they're in a couple days a week and still home. We understand that the youth are very computer drained, right? They spend a lot of time on their computers with school all day. So, you know, we try not to do as much um, virtual things, right? But again, if there's something that you think people might really like or people might really enjoy, you know, please let us know. Like I said, we're always open to options and we just really want to help in any way we can. And again, if you guys have any questions for us, you can let us know. We are going to try to do this, you know, more frequently. Come on Facebook Live, whether you guys watch it live or you watch it afterwards. Either way, you know, we'll try to get some guests on here and there as well. You know, we just want to get you guys familiar with who the coalition is, who some of the members are. So in that case, maybe you see them. You see one of the members at the hospital, right? Because, you know, we have members that work at different hospitals, right? You can see them and now you can recognize them, right? You know, our president is the lead pastor at a church, right? So, again, we have many different people that bring a lot to the table, and they work in different organizations, and that's what makes this coalition work. Without them, we wouldn't be able to function. Without them, we wouldn't be able to do the things that we do. And, again, we're always striving to do more. We're not going to ever be content until ever, right? There's always room for improvement. You know, if we ever settle, then we're not doing our jobs, right? Right. So if we can just, you know, keep building on what we're doing, hopefully, again, if you guys want to stop by at a meeting, you know, even if you want to join, it's not mandatory to stay, to come to every meeting. Don't think that, right? Of course, we would like to have you come to every meeting, but if you can't, that's understandable. But with your insight, with the knowledge that you can bring to us, it would really be beneficial. You know, your ideas, you know, we would love to hear your ideas. You know, our coalition is about you guys. Our coalition is about our members, about, you know, members coming up. It's about our community. And so we hope that we can continue to bring that to the table so you guys can feel comfortable and everything like that. Um, I'll stick around for a couple minutes. Again, I just kind of wanted to give you guys kind of this brief overview again of who the coalition is, what we are. You know, 2021, we're starting that new year, right? Hopefully things get way better than 2020. It seems like they already have, right? I know yesterday, if you guys did watch the Super Bowl, you know, there was fans in the stands. There was a halftime show. It kind of seemed like a that normalcy for a couple of minutes, right? Back to normal. It uh, didn't seem like anything was wrong. Or no pandemic for a few minutes, right? So that was really cool to see. But again, it's important we continue to stay safe, you know, stay healthy, take those precautions so we can continue to progress continue to get through these phases so we can go back to uh i'll use normal loosely because i know there will be a new normal um there'll always be a new normal now but go back to hopefully close to what it once was so again if you guys have any questions please reach out to us let us know we'll be glad to help if you guys are have any concerns comments or asking about different questions you know, maybe you're curious on to join, but you don't know how or you don't think you have the time. You know, we'll work with you. We'll make it work. Um, we'll help you guys. You know, we'll try to have you have your input. We can schedule kind of one-on-one -on -one talks with you guys if you can't make that meeting. Because, again, your input will really matter whether it's, you know, a 10-minute uh, Zoom with you or whatever it is. It would really be beneficial. So, again, thank you guys. Happy Monday. We hope you have a great week, and if you need anything, you know, you can message us on Facebook. We have Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, YouTube, you know, we have it, you name it, you know, our website, right, everything. So please reach out to us if you have any questions, and we'll be happy to answer them. Thank you guys, and have a great day, great week, and we will see you soon.